Okay guys, we have a brand new mid-drive motor option on the market to talk about, and this is the X1 Pro Gen 3 from CYC Motor. Correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think CYC is the second most popular brand after Bafang with the BBS HD mid-drive motor. In fact, as you guys know, I recently went on a massive group ride in New York City that was full of enthusiasts with modded out bikes, and I actually did see a bunch of these CYC mid-drive motors in use on their bikes. And for those of you guys that might be new to the channel, I actually bought one of these before. It was the X1 Stealth, so they're slightly cheaper, lower powered model. I put that on my first original bike and I used it for quite a while. So due to that experience, I did gain some familiarity with this company and their products. And I have to say, my experience was a little bit mixed. So I'm glad to see they're at it again with a new generation. And we're gonna see what they fixed and I'm gonna give you guys my initial thoughts on it. Right, so the first thing you need to know is that they actually updated both their Pro model as well as the Stealth with these Gen 3 features. And here's actually an image of the previous generation of these products. So we can kind of do a side-by-side -side visual initial comparison. And they're largely the same, although I do see, you know, slight design differences. And I have to say, I do appreciate that they updated both models with the latest Gen 3 product enhancements. So that means the only difference between these two lines is the power. So the Stealth, of course, is weaker and a little bit cheaper. Now cheap is a relative term because the Stealth is 1500 watts and it's still nearly a thousand dollars. The X1 Pro Gen 3, on the other hand, is 3000 to 5000 watts and it's over $1,100. So these are not for beginners. These are the enthusiast level mid-drive motors. And real quick, before we leave this page, we can see what you get with this product. And as they say right here, it's essentially everything you need but the battery. And from my experience of installing their X1 Stealth on my bike, they do give you everything you need and the parts were very high quality. Okay, so now we can watch their main marketing video together where they go into detail on all of their latest updates. And I'm going to be pausing it and giving you guys my thoughts as we go. Hey guys, this is Kathy from CYC and today I want to talk to you about the upgrades specifically from the Stealth Gen 1 and the X1 Pro Gen 2 all the way to the Gen 3 units. First thing we're going to talk about is the controller. So a lot of you know with the previous generations, the controllers wiring was basically quite a lot out there. What we've done now is we've completely made our housing to seal everything shut. So I guess I'll toss up an image of my bike build with the previous generation. And you're gonna see that the wires were pretty exposed. And this is something I did note. Um, they did have like a cover, a bash plate, which mostly protected the wires, but they were at the end of the day hanging out. So this latest update of really enclosing all those wires and making sure it's all protected is definitely a move in the right direction. The second major upgrade that we have is the torque sensor. Not only is it now ISIS spline, but the torque sensor is also fully sealed. So there's no external wires coming out, which means there's nothing really that can go wrong. Okay, so the torque sensor is one of the main selling points of the CYC mid-drive motor. It comes with it by default, and that gives you a much better pedal assist uh, feel to it. She mentions that this new one is wireless because the old one did have a wire coming off the side of it. And when you installed it into the bottom bracket, it did kind of get like pinched. And that was something I, I definitely noticed with my product. I never had an issue with it failing on me, but it is nice to see that they strengthened a potential weak point. Being paired with the torque sensor upgrade, we also have a very big upgrade, which is the actual controller itself. Now developed in-house by a team of engineers, one of the first things that we've upgraded is the initial ramp up that was a bit weaker with the previous generations. Okay, so they have custom in-house controllers now. They used to have the ASI either 855 or uh, BAC 4000. Those were the two options you had. So now they have their own custom solution. And she said that improves the initial power ramp up and torque. And I have to say that was always a disappointment with my X1 stealth. Okay, I mean, the acceleration is very slow, so maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Another thing is also the throttle. The throttle is instant engagement. There's no more delays, it's predictable. 
and it also kicks off right from the start. We also have new display options and previously the displays and the controllers weren't so well integrated. Now it's all integrated. We also have checked out a bit of the waterproofing. So what we've done is we've gone to inspect all the possible holes where we've noticed water ingress. Check that we can seal it off as best as we possibly can. Okay, so they improved the waterproof design. The last generation was still waterproof as far as I know, but I guess they're really pushing this as an off-roading beast and that's maybe why it's covered in mud right now. One of the major things that we've improved inside the motors themselves is we've upgraded the magnets to a higher temperature as well. Okay, so that's another solid upgrade. They put better magnets that can handle higher temperature loads. So, so far it seems like they're doing a lot of incremental updates that together are pretty meaningful and overall it's making the product just more mature. Another update that you guys can expect is reduced noise. Now we've heard your plea, everybody always asks us about it and yes our gearboxes are getting more and more refined as we go on with the generation. Okay, I'm not sure if I believe that. So the CYC motors are known for not just being loud, but having an annoyingly high pitch noise to them. And when I bought my X1 Stealth, I was going back and forth via email with them. And by the way, they had great customer service, but they said that the Stealth was you know, improved, it was quieter, all that kind of stuff. And it really wasn't. So I hope this one's quieter, but I'm not getting my hopes up. So that's the latest on the new generation of the X1 Pro and the Stealth. These motors are expensive. They're aimed at the enthusiast, high level, people that like to modify their bikes. And now it seems like across the board, they're a little bit better. So leave a comment. Do you like the Gen 3 of these motors or do you still prefer the Bafang BBS HD or some other mid-drive motor instead? Let us know in the comments below. Leave a like before you go and keep it real.